Good afternoon and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, July 28, 2021. 77 degrees at 5.41 p.m. I am your host, Fat Kamal. The relative humidity is at 55%. We got city chickens feeding out in the yard. Just got home from work about a half an hour ago. Right before that, we went and picked up some cat food treats for our loves hit the friendship room because I didn't feel like cooking so I grabbed a meal there I just ate some beef roll ups some really good vegetable dish made with two kinds yellow and uh, zucchini squash and cauliflower with some kind of cheese and other seasonings in it and it was delicious and then some homemade apple crisp there's my princess over there um Oh boy, how are you, Elf? I don't know where Max, Mike, and Sam are. All I know is I worked my butt off today and I got a big tank on me. Can't give you any kind of report about Jubblies today. But hang in there. There's bound to be some news somewhere. Maybe tomorrow. It is a beautiful day. Oh, there they go. There they go. Will they be back? Who knows? Spent the day cleaning at a house, cleaning the hoods over the stove, and some fans, and vacuuming, and just general purpose house cleaning, and I'm beat. All that up and down, and bending over, and crawling around on my knees and hands, vacuuming stairs and everything, and around corners, and moving end tables and everything, just kind of took its toll on this whole body. Tomorrow we'll got a carpet cleaning job, but we're going to get through today first. Hey, Princess, how are you? Oh, look at there's Sam. There's my brother, Prince and co-star Sam. Oh, yeah, we fed our friend this morning. He was out outside in his spot. Haven't seen him all afternoon, though. Well, we've only been home a little while. Oh, there's Mackie over there. Mackie! What are you doing, Max? He was just eating a mouse that I think Mikey actually caught and killed this morning. And I feel bad for the little guy, but we're all a meal for somebody eventually. We are all going to be a meal for somebody eventually. They're going to be lining up. Just like it, we're at a buffet, you know, you ever been to a buffet? And all these little microscopic beings are going to be in a big line with their little plates and forks and knives and spoons going through our bone marrow and getting little bits of that and the gray matter in our brains and our blood cells and everything else they can get a chunk of and just chow down until there ain't nothing left. Yeah, we all got that to look forward to. So anyway... And even if you decide to get yourself smoked and cremated and scatter your ashes, you're going to end up being eaten up by some kind of tree or something, sucking up the nutrients out of your calcium from your bones and everything else left over in that dust. So there it is. Cold, grim, hard facts. City chickens are up on the wire. Where are you going, Max? He's sniffing all the bushes. Somebody must have been over there. Sending some signals. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, I bought this thing last year called a tomato rocket, and I never did get it into the ground, and I'm thinking I'm like about two, minute, two months late with it this year, but I put that in last week, and there it is. It's sprouting up. There's something else in there growing besides tomatoes, but I don't know what they are, but anywho. We'll find out. I doubt I'll get any, any tomatoes off it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Not much does. Not much does. There's a big part of me that wants to go for a bike ride, and another part of me has been thinking about with the, the summer, about half over now. You could say that it's just about half over, calendar-wise, and practically as well. Eh, maybe not that. You never know. Uh, I've been wanting to go out to Rockport 
and go for a swim right before evening. I'm going to fart. Yeah. Ripped a couple good ones today. That wasn't as good as one I did around 2 o'clock. I'll tell you what, maybe it was closer to 1.30. It cracked the pavement where we were. Yeah. So anyway. Oh boy, I'm going to take a break here for a minute. So anyway, we're back. Most of the city chickens flew away. Oh, did that fail? Did that fail? Anyway, um, I think I started telling you what I had for dinner, and I don't remember if I got to the point where there, I said there were mashed potatoes and gravy and beef, beef roulade, and those were pretty good. Those were pretty good, too. Tank food, as I call it, all that starch, all those carbs, big tank food, tank builders. Hey, Elsie, what are you doing, honey? How's my princess? Got some sky rats singing in the distance. Oh yeah, where's Mikey? Mikey! So I don't know. There's a sky rat. There's a sky rat. And I think he's after that piece of crust I threw out there. There was a black squirrel out there feeding too. Oh, here come the city chickens again. So part of me wants to go for a bike ride. Another part of me wants to hang with my loves. Another part of me wants to drive out to Rockport and jump in for a swim just before dark. We can't, well, we could do it all. We could. But what are we going to do? I don't know. I got some laundry working down there. And you know what else I just remembered? I started soaking chickpeas for hummus the other day and they're still soaking. I think maybe we'll just leave them right where they're at. I don't think anything, any harm's going to come to them in the refrigerator. Look at Sammy over there. Come on, Sam. Mackie's over there in his jungle, too. Come on, Sam. Look at that sweet boy. Look at him. They are such awesome beings, kittens as are. I love you, Sam. I love you, Els. Love you, Max. And I love Michael, wherever he is. And I love uh, Tall Boy, as I call him. Friend. Look at Sammy. Look at that Sammy. Come on, buddy. What are you doing, mister? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, Melcy. Look at that princess. I actually almost slept well last night. I could have used probably another hour sleep. But I actually slept through most of the night, and that's a rarity for me. That's a very rare thing for me. Oh, yeah. There's Mr. Squirrel. Oh, scared him back. Maybe that's what Maxie saw. Maybe that's why Maxie's hanging out over there hiding. Mr. Squirrel wants to come out and get some corn. Mr. Mr. Squirrel's sneaking back. I think he's trying to hide behind that light out there. Don't mind me, Mr. Rabbit. It's your friend, Mr. Squirrel. Don't mind this wire sticking out of my ass. Doctor's orders. Well, what's going to happen when Maxie sees that? Oh, there he goes. Maxie's waiting over there. He's hiding beneath that uh, Russian olive tree way over there by those arbovites. But I don't even know if you can see. You can see his nose, but that's about it. That white spot way over there beyond that second light. There he goes. He, met, he got away, Max. He got away. And there's a monarch butterfly fluttering about. All right. Well, the church bells are ringing 6 o'clock. 
Sky Rat just flew over again. Maxie's still watching Mr. Squirrel out there. Princess is doing who knows what. Still no sign of Mikey, and that beautiful Sam is right there. Look at that beautiful Sam. So on behalf of Mikey, my Moigie, on behalf of Tallboy, Elsie, Max, and Sam, the warmest, kindest, piss off to one and all we can wish you. Thanks for not tuning in.